In step three, we only have one item to look at, which is your professional headline. Now, don't let the fact that this is only 120 characters, 20 to 25 words, fool you that this is gonna be easy or quick. You should spend quite a bit of time to craft the perfect attention-grabbing headline. So let's get started. So we've had the visitor, seen your name, your photo, your personal background, and they are still with us, which is great. The next thing they will see is your headline. There are three common mistakes made by 95%, probably more, of profiles. The first one is they are just boring. They just list a job title and that's it. Secondly, they're confusing. It's still unclear what they do and who they help. And many are just downright complicated. Here's how not to be boring, confusing and complicated. You can do it easily by deciding on three things what you do, who you help, and the benefit of that help. How your business and life have improved theirs. To illustrate these points, here's a quick random selection of a few accountants in the US, starting with three who have just listed their job. CPA, that's it. Some go a bit further and say certified public accountant. Marvelous. Some list everything. Once again, this is a, a live example. Uh, certified public accountant, etc., etc. I'll let you read it. In comparison, can we make our profile stand out by applying our template? What you do, who you help, and the benefit. Could we say, I help business owners and professionals save on average 25,000 per year in taxes and retire with an extra $1 million. With your headline, be creative. Don't be boring, confused, nor complicated. Just remember what you do, who you help, and what benefit you bring. It's even better if you can express it in money terms, as in this example. And if you have enough characters and also some existing clients, you can name drop to add some credibility. So here's your action points for step three. Nothing boring, confusing, or complicated. Decide on what you do, who you help, and the benefit of that help. And that's it. Another fairly brief lesson, but believe me, as I said at the outset, this should take a little time to craft and get it right. See you in lesson four.